Okay, welcome to the Card Deck Creator Series with me, Aisha Hilton. And today my special guest is Nanta Enson, and she's from Sydney in Australia. And it's the first time I'm actually chatting to Nanta, and I really want to find out lots of um, great things about her card deck. So welcome, Nanta. Oh, thank you, Aisha. It's really great to be here, and um, I've had a lot of fun doing this. <laughs> So tell me, um, I think I was reading in your newsletter that you originally created a card deck many, many years ago, and yes. then this is your reprinting of them, or have you changed them? Yes, correct. So they, I originally created them to be part of my Body Mind Resolution Healing Program, which I have celebrated 10 years this year in June since I started that and had it registered with the International Institute for Complementary Therapists here in Australia. So it's actually certified, it's an international certification. So I also teach practitioners to do it as well. But it's a self-development program where, you know, I help women from all walks of life who've been through a lot of trauma in their lives and experienced um, a lot of different situations where mental, emotional and physical abuse has been mostly the women that have come onto the program. Um, it is still a one of a kind in Australia and in the world and is incredibly successful. So um, the women who come through the program, it was like, I wanted something for them. I, I'm all about empowering you to take charge, right? Because I can't hold your hand forever in your life. So I like to empower women to get back their own power, their own strength, to rediscover and reclaim their own you authentic selves, which is really important and vital to start to live the life that you want to live and to be able to create what you want to create the way you want to have it. And so I give a lot of tools during the program, but I wanted something physical that they could also take away. Mm -hmm. So that's why I sat and I created the cards. And one day as this inspiration came to me, I sat outside in a sunshiny day in amongst nature. It was a beautiful day. I sat outside and I just called in my angels to start helping me to create these cards. And I ended up with 40 cards in the set. Um, and they are all about helping you to quickly discover what the underlying causes are of either a health issue or a life challenge that you happen to be going through at the time. And so it's about connecting with yourself, not connecting with anything outside of you. It's bringing, you know, you've got to return to yourself all the time, no matter what. So it's always leading you back to you. And so when you use the cards, they are, you're connecting with yourself, your deeper inner wisdom and knowledge because you have it all within you it's just a matter of learning how to tap into that and how to open that door and so through the healing it is looking at what the issues are what were your thoughts what were your beliefs that brought you to this point in life that that brought you to to where you were took you on the journey and what did you need to learn from that and then within that, the card also shows you ways to start healing that. And so I don't have a separate booklet. I just have a beautiful picture on the back. And the explanation of each card is there. And so you just use that. So whatever pops out is what's right for you. And um, many of my clients have said they're very scaringly accurate. <laughs> Because your inner self never lies, right? It always tells you the absolute truth because you're, you're connecting with your heart and soul, your true authentic self, which has kind of got a little buried under life situations and challenges and traumas. And so when I first created the set, um, it was really difficult for me to find um, a good printer um, and I had massive trouble trying to find a box to put them in that just was just 
way too much for me. So I ended up with a box that I wasn't happy with, but it was all I could go with at the time. Um, and then I stopped working with them, not stopped working with them, but I went online and I started using like PDF files, et cetera, instead. But, you know, it came time this year that, you know, I was getting a nudge that they needed to be redesigned, updated and reprinted. <laughs> and as soon as that thought came, it was like, okay, I'm being guided to reintroduce this because you know, everybody really needs this. They are an amazing tool. And all my clients who have used them over the years still have them from 10 years ago when I first created them. And they still work perfectly well, except now we've got a new design. So I thought, okay, how am I going to go about this? How am I going to find a box? How am I going to find a new design? What am I going to do? I need help with this because I do a zillion other things. So, you know, and lo and behold, 24 hours later from that thought, your advert popped up on my Facebook feed. And then I thought, wow, that looks really interesting. So I popped in there and had a look and I thought, okay, I'll have to think about that. The next day it popped up again. <laughs> <laughs> And it did that a third time. And I thought, okay, third time. Every time there's a three, everything comes in threes. It's a cycle. Um, and the third time it came, I thought, right, that's it. I'm doing this. This looks really great. And it looks like it's going to provide me with what I need to be able to have a new design, to have, you know, a good size, to have something that's looking really very professional and I can get a box without it costing me six grand. <laughs> <laughs> so as you, it was like, that was very divinely guided and the timing was absolutely perfect. So yeah, you, you have designed um, great tools and help for people to actually create their own set of cards. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to hear that. And it's funny, um, lots of people say the same thing. I was thinking about it, then the ad popped up. And this is my first time doing Facebook ads um, successfully with this. So um, it's been a great experience for me as well. And just meeting people like yourself who have these amazing products and gifts and skills uh, that, you know, can really support people, especially at this really challenging time. Yeah. So I'm ready for some show and tell. <laughs> Are you ready to show us oh, absolutely. your gorgeous deck? Yes, yes, I would like everybody. So I'm very excited with my new design. Oh, love it, yes. Okay, now on the front, I'll just explain. Everything I do with the cards has a meaning. Everything I put together has got to represent something really amazing that will relate with people and these situations. So of course the color of the box itself is a soft pink with a slight lavendery tinge. Mm. The design on the front is actually a natural piece of rose quartz crystal. Oh yes, I yes. Can see and that it's now. In a heart <laughs> shape, right? Yes, oh yeah. Beautiful. So, of course, this is the heart shape represents love because it's always about bringing you back to self-love, okay? So, and a rose quartz crystal supports self-love, okay? And now the ladies who do the Body Mind Resolution Healing Program with me, if they join the program, I will send them a set of cards which is included in the program. I also send them um, a rose quartz heart crystal as well as a continual reminder about self-love okay and I think it's a lovely adjunct to an online program is to give some people especially if it's like a longer program with you know that's got a bigger investment of time and money to give yes. them something physical is really lovely yes and so I love the and, and on the back of course I've got a little description about it Plus yep. my ISBN number, et cetera, so they are registered. I will not be selling them in a shop. Um, 
but I have also, um, I've been guided to make them available outside of the program because they are such a great self-help tool. So because they don't have a little booklet, I, um, there is one card, card number 41, which tells yep. you how to use the cards. Yep, I love that. And I, I advise people to have an instruction card. And it's just nice yep. and simple. It's about keeping everything simple because people don't have time to mm. muck around, right? They don't have time to sit and read books too much. Um, and when they're working with a self-help thing, um, it's important that they can get to the problem as quickly as possible. Okay. I agree. So and I, I think having a book isn't necessary. It depends on the type of cards, but exactly. I, I encourage people if you can do it without a book or yes. then just have a PDF download, um, either journal yes. instructions or whatever, that's fine. Yes. Um, and it just adds to the price as well. <laughs> really. Well, that, well, exactly. Yeah. I mean, we're trying to make things really affordable for yes. people. That That's really, really important um, that they know that they can you know, tap into this resource and it's not costing them a huge amount of money, but yes. they have such great help. So if I say to you about the cards, it's um, like on the back of them, the packet that I wrote, I put um, about the Body Mind Resolution set, 40 transformational cards. And I call them transformational because that's what they're about, really. Um, and they're part of the program. So they will lovingly guide you swiftly to the causes of your current life or health challenge. So a stressful lifestyle can prevent you from fulfilling your desires. So being overwhelmed causes a, self, a lack of self-love, which results in self-sabotage. So are you ready to gently dive into your inner truth and heal what is preventing you from living joyfully so your heart and soul are calling to be freed healed and loved you are worth it so beautiful nanta i love it all right <laughs> show us some more so <laughs> here we go box. so this is the back of all the cards right beautiful yep so, they so these are the gorgeous. tarot they're the tarot what size are they the tarot so or? these are a 3.5 across by a five down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're a great size, aren't they? So I love this size. Mm. It's very manageable when you're shuffling them in your hands. You know, the, the larger cards, I have sets of larger cards from, from others that I have purchased, and I find them quite difficult for me because my hands are smaller um yes they're unwieldy these, and they fly around <laughs> yeah so exactly. they shuffle beautifully all so right so these i can easily hold quite easily because yeah my yep. hands no, are they're lovely hands, but they're so easy to hold and mm. manage shall you um, do, would you like to pull a card for all of us that are absolutely <laughs> so the thing is what we'd normally do i say to people on the cards that we hold the cards and I like to hold them against me so that my intention, I'm setting that to come within myself and return to myself, okay? So as I return to myself, I ask the question, what is most important for me to heal within me now? And if you ask yourself that question, Aisha, I'll choose a card, I'll shuffle and choose a card for you. Yep, thank you. <laughs> yes, okay. So I'm going to shuffle the card. And what will happen as I'm doing that, when I get to the right one for you, it will just jump out of the pack. Now, I also, as you do that, it may help for other people. But otherwise, I instruct, give a shuffle. When you feel ready, stop, spread them out, and then choose what you feel is right for you, what you're drawn to. So there's two different ways that you can do this. So am I asking for you, Aisha? We'll see what comes out for you. Okay. So <laughs> this one on the top comes out. And this one is called honesty. Mm. Okay. 
So it says, honesty with yourself is not easy as it reveals the truth about your deepest shadows you have been hiding for so long due to your fears. So with, then it's a little list of questions. Which statement apply, which statement or statements apply to you? I fear admitting the issues um, it makes them real. Okay. I fear I cannot make the changes to heal. Or I fear healing because I might lose something. Mm. Or it is just so much easier to ignore the issues. Or I do not know how to be honest with myself. Or this is really too hard. So whichever statement or statements you relate to, honesty brings knowledge and understanding so that you can accept the shadows and bring them into the light to heal. So it's time for old patterns, beliefs and comfort zones to go. This truth sets you free. Have compassion for yourself and realise you have a great opportunity to make new choices and begin a new exciting chapter of your life. And Beautiful. that's all on the card. Thank you. So um, the front is the same, the back is the same. So it, from a design perspective, um, it's fairly simple, but it's so stunning. Exactly. Um, the, the back is all the backs of the cards are the same. Yeah. And all the fronts of the cards are different. Yeah. Okay. Because every one of them, there are 40 different things, creativity, guilt, responses, judgments, yeah, and you're able to fit quite a lot of text on there because you've kept the that side quite plain. Um, so it actually enables you to fit heaps of text, yes. which is great. Yes. And so you designed them in Canva. Yes, I did. And you know what? I have never used Canva before. So well done, congratulations, because the cards are stunning and effective. Um and um so you did the, how did you design the tuck box? Did you get someone to do that? Because the tuck well, box is the most that frustrating. Because, oh, the printers I used, I used e-printing in, up in Brisbane. Oh, yeah, the Queensland uh, one, yes, that I recommend. Yes, yeah, they're yes. great. So they, they, they had the Canva had template for that. Amazing. Yes, great. And um, so you're selling them quite cheaply, aren't you? So yes. are you making any money on it or is it just? A little, a little bit of money, yeah. not a lot. I'm yeah. charging $25 per set plus postage to wherever. Yeah. But these, these, I've, no, I'm not making a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> and how many did you order at one time for the first, uh, 50, first 50 yeah. sets to start? Yeah. And so was the, with the e-print online in Queensland, is there they have a scale like the more you order the cheaper it gets yes that's right the more you order the cheaper it is if like the thing that I found was probably the most difficult for me with this was I didn't know how they were physically going to look with this new design until I actually received my entire order oh yes so you didn't do one because I know so there that, wasn't like one a, a test a demo box no <laughs> <laughs> yeah so and because um depending on your timing like if people have time they'll often order one box but that prototype is like fifty dollars so then you're thinking oh, i'll just order more and um at the moment you're just you've just uh, advised people through your email that they're for sale yes um, on my facebook page and through my newsletter that i sent out yesterday Yes. yes. So, um, and before we started recording, you were telling me you've already got quite a few orders. So that's exciting. Congratulations. Yes. It's lovely. Yes, I have um, some local orders and um, a, a couple of sets, four sets have actually gone to New Zealand. Um, and I've just had order come in from Melbourne this morning. Oh, that's really exciting. Congratulations. Yes, and thank you. So you're happy with the quality of the cards and everything? The quality is actually really lovely. Mm, I, I love beautiful. it. And I had them sallowed front and back because it gives a, a beautiful finish and also it feels nice to handle the cards as well. 
Yes. So with make playing cards, we they come really they we don't often recommend the cello, but different printers have different options. So for people listening, you know, check out the different options. And I know you can also order sample packs as well. Um, so that's always handy. And so I've, I was speaking to some people on our virtual cuppa the other day, and they ordered their card deck in lo lots of different types until they found the right one. But that was just because they had like wanted to play with the different stock but all of them were still sellable um regardless so yes 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 but i thought you know as far as having this this is what they call a tuck box yes and and that's really fabulous um and when you're sort of starting out and you want to keep your price low these are a lovely option i mean this is all sellowed as well so yeah, it's beautiful got a beautiful quality finish yes and so we get them from Make Playing Cards, but they don't have the Canva template the way no. ePrint Online does. So it's like, oh, I've got something in the <laughs> Card Deck Creators Toolkit, but it, it's hodgepodge. And I'm like, hire someone on Fiverr, pay them the five bucks US and get them to do it in Illustrator or um, Photoshop. But it's that's why for if you're in Australia, this is a great option yes. um, for people. And I haven't found... Um, in different countries, the e equivalent to ePrint no, online. So no. that's why I still recommend make playing cards. Yes. Um, but yeah, well, firstly, congratulations. The cards are stunning and Thank nice you. to bring them out in a fresh design um, and be able to share them with your students as well or participants in your program. Yes. Um, for people who haven't created a card deck and they're just starting out and they're feeling a bit overwhelmed, what advice would you give them, Nanta? Um, I would just say, you know, just take the bull by the horns because your instructions are very clear and very easy to follow. The only problem I had was putting the things on the box, but I got ePrint to do it. Um, and... You know, they didn't even charge me for that, which Ooh, was great. <laughs> I sent what I wanted, you know, um, and and they just did it, which was really lovely. But I just say, you know, you've just got to really believe in yourself. I hadn't used Canva. I've always used PowerPoint or Publisher, you know, all the years for all the things that I've created. So using Canva, I had heard people talk about it. And thought, oh, I don't know. <laughs> But hey, we're here to learn, right? And we've got to expand. And if we really believe in what we're doing and believe in the product that we're producing and putting out there for people, then why not just take a chance and just do it? But you're there for support if anybody needs it. Your instructions are clear. I don't see any problem with that. Just do it. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's great advice. And I think from all the card deck creators that I've been talking to, that is the best advice. Just believe in yourself, have a go. And as I was saying to someone the other day, it doesn't even have to be perfect the first go. Like not everyone needs to order 50 at once. Like you can order one or two or three uh, decks. And, you know, if you don't love it, you can change it because that's the, the beauty of um, printing on demand as well. Correct. So, um, and I had a, one lady was going to use all of her own artwork, but then she saw how simple you can make it. And oh. she, so she's still going to do another deck with her artwork, but thought, oh, I'm going to make one just for fun. And if, if we come at it with an attitude of fun and play and joy, um, it's so much easier. That's right. And during the, the time that I was with you doing the course, you'd sent out another um, offer about a template for a journal. OK, because what I encourage people to do with the cards is to use, say, one card um, at a time with their sitting and then journal what you feel, journal what's relevant, what comes up for you as you read the card to journal. OK, now I love your journal template, but what I'm going to do, because, again, that's another quite big expense and you know I don't know how people they probably say oh I can get a journal just down the road so what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to go back in because it will provide like a beautiful template to go with the cards of people how to use it and how to get them started 
put it into a PDF file and send that off to them. Yes, and that's what I recommend is not getting it printed um, because it's just not worth it. And people people can just print out extra pages. I'm looking at my printer exactly. now. <laughs> just print out extra pages as they need it. And I'm finding like if you give people a structure, it helps them to use the cards more. Correct. So, and, and as you say, like, you know, the card that you pulled for me about the shadow work that I've been working on and a book about shadow work. So it was quite timely to have that card. <laughs> Um, just journaling about what that brings up for you um, is so yes. therapeutic and transformational. So absolutely, yeah. yes. Never underestimate the power of journaling. Yes, I'm a big, big journaler. <laughs> My, I've got a whole cupboard here full of journals. I'm not sure what to do with them, whether I should <laughs> burn them or I don't think I want people reading them because obviously, like when you're journaling and you're doing this transformational work. Things are yes. true in the moment, but they're not a universal truth as well. So yes. yeah. So it's kind of like when the journal's all filled up and you're kind of on the next journal and quarter of the way through, perhaps what I do myself and I sometimes say to my clients, go back and have a look at that other journal mm. and you will see how far you've come and you'll see the progress and congratulate yourself yeah okay Pat, on Pat yourself on the back you have to give yourself praise you really do for the work that you do because our healing journey is a lifetime journey okay so then I take that journal because that's the past it's done I've been there done that and I go out and I burn it yes I've got I, I should probably do my divorce journal <laughs> and as you burn, burn it because I know, put a lot in that and now I have a great relationship with my ex-husband. So, yes, I should do that. Thank burn you. Burn it because yep. fire Release cleanses. <laughs> and then it just goes up and it's like it's resolved. It's yep. gone. It's Beautiful. done. You don't have to revisit that again. No, I'm done. <laughs> So I wanted to thank you so much. You're, you're so beautiful and I love your energy and I love your cards. They're so beautiful and I love how much they're so simple but so elegant and beautiful and powerful and congratulations on them and starting to sell them as of yesterday and to include them as, you know, um, gifts to your clients who are doing your program. So how can people get in touch with you? And I will put the links below the video as well. Okay, so they can get in touch with me by my email is really easy. It comes directly to me. So that's Nantar Spiritual School at gmail.com. Excellent. And your website is uh, Nantar Spiritual School. Yes, Nantar Spiritual School dot org. Dot org. So the links will be below, but I just want to say thank you so much for your time and for sharing so generously about your experience creating card decks and for the release of this new revised version. Thank you. And thank you. I have just been so happy that your ad popped up in my Facebook feed because look what, look where it's, look where I've gone. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. that's my lovely, pleasure. Aisha. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Wasn't it interesting? And I hope you got some inspiration and some tips uh, from listening to this. So if you're interested in making your own card deck, I invite you to check out the card deck creators toolkit that I've created for people like you who want to create their own inspirational affirmation or oracle card deck. There's so many different card decks that you can create. So I invite you to check out the links below to get the toolkit and get on your way creating. And if you've already created your own card deck, congratulations, share a link below. I'd love to see it. Much love to you and take care.